Well, hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Art Waddell. Today I have an unbagging video of something a little bit uh, different to the diamond paintings, but I thought we might enjoy it anyway, so I thought I'll show you guys. So this is something I've purchased from Amazon. It's uh, something I've been wanting for a little while now and get in, stuck into. So this is one of the boxes I've got. And ta-da, I have a very fancy case here. So this is something I wanted to get back into. I used to do a lot of painting back in the day and I want to get back into it. So I have bought myself a Fair Dinkum Bob Ross kit. This is for landscapes and so forth style. So this has got um, some of these main colors. I also bought one of the dark sienna uh, tubes of paint because these ones are huge. This is proper Bob Ross brand. Now, you would think that being the Bob Ross brand is going to be exceptionally expensive, but I actually found looking around that it's really not that bad as far as uh, the price of paints go. And I get a huge tube. So this is a 200 mil tubes you can get. And uh, I was kind of surprised for something that has, has got such a thing as a Bob Ross brand for the price was pretty good. So I was pretty happy with that. I think it was something like 20, I'm going to say 26, $28 Australian. So for a big tube of paint like this for oils, this is oil based paint. I don't think I've even undone it yet, but it might be. There you go. And because you actually need um, quite a dry type of oil paint to do this style of painting, I went and got some of this because some of my oils I already have are not probably ideal for this particular style I want to do. So for the technique involved. So I got myself a really big tube of pram just to see what it was all about. Anyway, so this is the actual Bob Ross little basic paint set kit so it's a bit of a starter kit if you'd like to say so i thought it'd be very handy to get a couple of his main colors he used to help me get well add to what i've got basically but really get me in the right um the right kind of textures of paints and even the right tools i'll give it a start of that really so this is a 10 piece kit now this one as I said, I, I can't remember off the top of my head because I don't normally worry about prices, but I'm going to say it was about the $75 mark for this kit, Australian. So it was on special, so it's probably not going to be that now, but it was found on Amazon. So you'll have to probably do a bit of scrounging. I did a lot of scrounging before I found this kit, I must say. And I just thought for what it had in it, it was value to me for what I want to do. So I'm just going to flip this over. It's all sealed up. And just show you what is actually in the case so to speak so you get technically the five colors of paint you get a one inch brush and you get the number five painting knife and you get some of the liquid white oil paint base so if you watch any bob ross stuff you know you always have some sort of uh magic white or magic black or something like that to sort of as your base color that you paint over with the others so that's what this one here is. It's basically his magic white. So that's what we're looking at here. So it's just giving a nice little uh, image on the side of something you could paint. I've done some similar images like this before, so I'm going to be really enjoying the fact I can try using some Bob Ross paint to do the similar. Uh, in basic paint kit contains five oils. As I said, the liquid white, it's 100 mils of that. These are only the 37 mil paints, so they're only small. Number five, painting knife, one inch landscape brush, instructional leaflet, and a plastic carry case, which it all comes together in. So that's pretty awesome. So we're just going to bust through this plastic and get it open. So you know everything should be right in here because it's all sealed up. Very exciting opening all these things. Ah, plastic is gone. Shoot, wants to stick to me. All right, so I said it's got a very basic sort of plastic case. Just some clips there. I'm thinking this might be cracked and damaged actually. So the case is damaged, 
probably in shipping. As I said, it was only sitting as is in that bag. So you can see it didn't have any protective um, box or anything to go over it. That's exactly how it came. So I think something like this will require a box. If you're going to market the case as part of the sale, like you're saying here, you get a plastic carrying case for your items. So that is part of the product that you, it's not just um, packaging. This is actually part of your product. So you really should be probably putting that in a box because that's actually, that is damaged that you probably wouldn't be able to carry this. It might even break that lock. But that's okay. I wasn't planning to put it in here forever anyway. That's just me. Now this is a number five painting knife and this is the one with the little edge. And this is the one we do like the mountains and other sort of designs with. I probably don't need to take it out of the packaging, but you get the general idea of that knife that comes in the kit. This is your one inch paintbrush. It is a landscape brush. It is made of uh, hog's hair, I believe these ones are. I could be wrong, but they are a very natural brush. They are not the same as you would your house painting brushes. The bristles are much, much more flexible and softer and not and they are natural for, like natural hair, so to speak. It's not um, not that nylons and plasticky things that you'll find in your $2 shop. So even though they're quite more expensive, it's a reason for it. They do hold the paint much better. It's nice and thick as well. If I can get that the right sort of angle. To check out those bristles. So this one will be quite... Um, Use for quite a lot of different things like doing clouds, uh, just blendings, lots and lots of stuff like that. So it's a really handy size brush for the for the Bob Barros technique. Beautiful. So you get one of those in your kit or carry case in this case. This one is the liquid white, or is known as called magic white on the um, on the show on the TV show so when he's doing his work. There's a hundred mils here of this. It is something you use fairly sparingly. So this is quite um, a decent amount, even though you'd put that on the background pretty much most of your paintings. I will say most because sometimes you do use a black or other colors. And this is basically an oil paint that's been broken down to be more liquid like to give it that um, the base that's nice and slick and wet and easy to, to work with this style of painting. So that's what that one's for. I then have obviously two more boxes which will have the paints in them. We'll go through them in a second. And I have a leaflet here, basic stuff going on, I think. Welcome to the joy of painting, etc. etc. That might be easy to pause with it. Hopefully. And again in other languages there as well. So a bit of a welcoming to the painting community. Now this is basic paint set English instructions. You do get quite an extensive manual here on how to do this image that's on the, the box and sold with the box. So uh, it presents how you do your sky, your mountain and all the steps right throughout and in different languages as well. So that's quite extensively done. So that goes through uh, evergreens there it says. So you're looking at 13 step painting for you to do as well. So you can just check that out and it does repeat itself in another three different languages other than English. So there we go. And it's beautifully illustrated. I must say the it's got a nice smooth texture. It's good quality paper. You can keep this in one of your files as reference and go back and forth quite a bit. The I say the images are nice and big, uh, well set out by the looks of it. And yeah, gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to achieve a mountain scene like the Bob Ross himself would do. So that's pretty intense. That really is the end of what's in the case, but I will go back and show you these oils. 
I'm just gonna move that over there. I'm a little disappointed that is broken, to be honest. I will be honest about that. It would kind of be handy to have a very small, um, a small carry case like that, just to keep a few things in. I think it still would have been handy. All right, so what have I got here? It's a per supposed to be easy access perforated edges, but it didn't really work that way. Ah, come out of there. So we have other Bob Ross colors. These are 35 mils. We have is Plytho, Plytho Blue, Patello Blue, and Sat Green, two well-known colors of Bob Ross. I couldn't say it there. So there we are. That is the two, where are we go. So there we are, Plytho Blue and Sat Green. These are 35 mil, by the way. Nice, solid um, paints if they feel nice and full. Again, these little containers are supposed to have this easy, <laughs> easy open box. Not so easy. So I have these ones as well in this particular set. I've got a titanium white. Cadmium yellow and a lizard crimson. There we go. There we go. Lizard crimson. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty red. One of your yellows, white, and blue and green. So that's basically the color palette for this case. Of course, this is only a small handful of the Bob Ross colors, but I felt that if I had some to my starter kit, that it would probably help me in the long run if I'm going to continue using that style. So we come with these five colors. White's not really a color, but you know, five tubes of regular paint. We'll say it that way. Your undercoat or your liquid white. You get the one inch brush and you also get the number five knife. And that is pretty much what you get for that kind of money. And of course you get the carry case and the booklet. Now the carry case unfortunately is broke, but you do get the nice booklet, which is I think very handy, especially if you're just sort of beginning for the reference and it all comes together in the case, which is a great idea, anything else. And I bought this one as a extra large. And this is what the difference is like, this is the difference between the size of the tubes side by side so you know when you have a look on place like Amazon check the size of your tubes because what you're paying for could be something something this big and you could possibly pay maybe a small amount more or similar price for something this big that's what I've found so I did have to shop around so there you go that's the difference between the two tube sizes there you go. So that is my new Bob Ross paints and some tools. So I'm going to get stuck into doing a few paintings as well at this year. That is my other little crafty thing I want to really get back into. Uh, something I think is really good for your mental health is getting back to an old craft you really enjoy. So I am going to go dabble back in the paints. Don't worry, I will do lots more diamond paintings and plenty more other things as well probably. But don't worry, there will be plenty more diamond paintings coming back to the channel. I just wanted to sort of share a few other crafts as well. So this is going to be more of a diamond arts and crafts Dell video. But yeah, this is definitely going to be a lot of fun and looking forward to working with these. As I said, they are supposed to be a bit more drier type oil. So that'll be interesting to work with. I usually have... Uh, Montmartes and things like that and, and some other Wilson brands so this will be interesting to see the difference between um, these ones so there we go um, I'll say thank you very much for watching I think at this stage I think I've shown you everything I can from this set I hope you have a wonderful day guys I hope you enjoy this little bit different video to look through something with me and I'll say Thank you very much again for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more and hit that bell. Information is down in the description box if you're interested and I'll say have a great day guys. Till next time, be your life beautiful or any craft you choose and I'll be back. Hit that bell. Bye now.